These days, my mom's memory isn't so good anymore. But when she was still active and much younger, she would tell me what she recalled of the family's experience during World War II. At that time, the Japanese were already invading Baguio. This meant that the family composed of her grandfather, who was called Lolo, her parents, an aunt, my mom, who was then 45 years old, and her two-year-old sister, had to travel down the mountains to save her ground with the help of an Igorot guide. She remembers being carried on the shoulders of her dad during that long trek down. The long hike was not without casualties. Her aunt was heavily pregnant at the time. She was unable to make the full journey and she had to be buried in the mountainside. Then it became Lolo's turn. He said that he couldn't travel anymore and was simply holding up the rest of the group. He was planning to just surrender to the Japanese when they came. To cut the story short, the family had to go on without him. I do not know how long it took for them to reach the lowlands, but by then, the Japanese had surrendered and the American soldiers were in control. When the family reached the convoy of soldiers, whom did they see but Lolo riding on one of the jeeps and waving at them? To say that it was a joyful reunion was an understatement. Apparently, as he was ambling along, he came across a contingent of Japanese and surrendered to them as he had intended. He was but one of many prisoners who had to march to wherever the Japanese soldiers were headed. When the news came that the Americans had liberated Baguio, the soldiers had to retreat fast, and so they started bayoneting their prisoners by the stream where they were traversing. He was one of the lucky ones, as his wounds were only shallow and he had enough presence of mind to fall down along with the other prisoners and play dead until the soldiers left altogether. He died in 1961 at 78 years old. Many years later, during the late 70s to early 80s, it took another Igorot native to help locate the remains of my great aunt and the baby and bring them back to Baguio for a proper burial. <laughs>